Carnation Evaporated Milk presents the George Burns and Gracie Allen Show. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, dear. Oh, George, now don't be gone long because I want you to say goodbye to Mamie. Don't tell me that Mamie is finally leaving. Oh, she has to. She only dropped in to stay overnight. That was two weeks ago. <laughs> well, it's a lucky thing that she stayed. Her husband's been calling up every day asking her when she's coming home. And if she'd gone, she wouldn't have gotten the call. <laughs> I know, and he kept reversing the charges. Oh, that was my idea. You see, from San Francisco to Los Angeles, it's long distance. And by reversing the charges and paying it here, it's a local call. <laughs> well, it's worth it if she leaves today. Mm, oh, we've had such a wonderful visit. You know, Mamie Kelly and I were girls together in San Francisco. I know. In fact, we were girls even when we weren't together. <laughs> I've heard that for two weeks. You better go in and help her pack. I will, but be back in time to say goodbye to her. I certainly will. All right, dear. Well, hello, Blanche. Hi, Hi Blanche. Blanche. Hi, Gertie. Mamie Kelly's leaving today. Well, it's about time. I don't see how you could stand anyone staying with you that long. Well, I'm used to it. Look how long George has been with me. <laughs> <laughs> but you and George are married. But so is Mamie. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Blanche. I suppose you've had a Mamie Kelly happen to you, too, huh? Don't you love it when they drop in and say, look, we're not even going to open our bags? And they don't. <laughs> For the next four months, they wear your clothes. <laughs> I had a thing happen to me. I worked with a fellow in Bordville named Harry Jans. I hadn't seen him for years. Last summer, there was a knock on my door. I answered it. There was Jans, his wife, two children, and four trunks. He said, I was just passing and saw a light in your window, so we thought we'd drop in. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the afternoon and he saw a light. <laughs> I won't tell you how, 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 how long they stayed with us, but if they'd been with us another 15 minutes, I could have listed them as dependents on my income tax. <laughs> another time, Gracie and I were up in Canada at, uh, at a resort, and we met some people. As I was leaving, I said, if you ever get to the States, look us up. I didn't tell them our name. I didn't even tell them what state. <laughs> on our way back, Gracie and I stopped at the Grand Canyon for a couple hours. When we came home, they were sitting on our doorstep. <laughs> well, I didn't know these people too well to be rude to. So I said, look, we're a little crowded. Uh, I'll call the hotel and get a room. And they said, fine, but come back and have breakfast with us in the morning. <laughs> Believe me, I know all the tricks to get rid of house guests. I should. They've all been pulled on me. <laughs> of course, uh, friends are not as bad as relatives. I've got a cousin, Leo Salas. Uh, for two years, I kept looking at his face around the house. I got so tired of it. I was actually glad when he sold his house and I had to move out. <laughs> Of course, I'm the last one in the world to criticize. That's Gracie and Mamie. That's been going on for two weeks. Oh, there's nothing like a good laugh, is there, Mamie? No. But what are we laughing at? Well, I don't know, but I always laugh a lot, so people will know I have a good sense of humor. Oh. Oh, yes, I forgot. Well, if you'll help me with these last few things, I'll be all packed. All right. Is that you were telling me about Hattie's wedding? Oh, it was a very fashionable wedding. She was married at 12. My, my, how old was the groom? <laughs> <laughs> that means, honey, that they were married at high noon. Oh, say, this is a beautiful mirror. Oh, yes, isn't it? Charlie gave me a whole set for Mother's Day. It's real ivory. Oh, my, it's simply beautiful. Uh, isn't it wonderful what you can get from an elephant? Yes. Well, you've raised his three children. You're entitled to it. 
Let's step on him, Gracie. Forty minutes to the airport. Oh, no, now look. Uh, uh, George will feel awful if we leave before he says goodbye to you. Really? Oh, yes. Ever since you've been here, he's done nothing but ask when you're going to go so we can say goodbye. <laughs> oh, you're both been awfully nice. Yes. Oh. Hello? Oh, San Francisco. Yeah, put him on. Hello, Charlie. Oh, of course, Mamie hasn't forgotten you. An elephant's wife never forgets. <laughs> uh, well, quick, here she is. Uh, <laughs> hello, dear. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming right home. Yeah, how are the children? Oh, that's fine. All right, dear. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Gracie. Why have you unpacked everything? Well, I wanted to make sure you hadn't forgotten anything. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see you got the cans of carnation for your little children. Yes, and thanks again. Yes, you know it's the, the milk from contented cows. Yes, I know. And it's no wonder. If you were a cow and only had to give one little can of milk a day, you'd be contented too. <laughs> Children. Oh, wonderful. You know, our eldest little girl passed her spelling test and got a B. Oh, it's a shame you haven't got a bigger place. She could have a dog. <laughs> when I get to San Francisco, I'll call your mother and give her your love. Oh, yes, do that. You know, she always liked you. You remember the time you came to our house for dinner? Mm -hmm. The night we had the lemon pie with beef stew in it? <laughs> Is that what that was? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my mother never would have discovered that recipe if the pressure cooker hadn't blown up. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess we better get started. Oh, but maybe we haven't finished talking. Oh, but we, we can talk on the way to the airport. Oh, well, let's sit down and figure out what we're going to talk about. Uh, uh, no, 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 let's figure it out in the car. Come oh. on. Oh, all right. Oh, by the way, I've got something for you. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, look, these oh. are pills. They, you're to take those on the plane to keep you from getting dizzy. Oh, thank you, Gracie. Do they really work? Oh, sure, I take them all the time. <laughs> oh. Well, well, let's get started. Yeah, all right. Well, Gracie took Mamie to the airport. She finally left. How two women could chatter that much, I'll never know. Do you know that they talked for three days before they found out they weren't on the same subject? <laughs> After that, the conversation got silly. I haven't had a square meal or a good night's sleep since Mamie got here. You know... Oh, there's Bill Goodwin. Come in. Hey, it's me, George. Hi, Willie. Come on in. Bye. Am I glad to see you. Say, you sound real happy today. I am happy. You yeah. know that woman that's uh, spent two weeks with us? She's gone? Mamie left. No. Yeah. Congratulations, yes, George. Yes, sir. This calls for a cigar, You huh? said it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, my brand, too. Good. <laughs> Say, you know, George, I'm celebrating something pretty nice myself. I've been offered a part in a wonderful new picture at Columbia Studio. Well, congratulations. <laughs> this calls for another cigar. <laughs> Every time I open my humidor, I put my foot in it. <laughs> you know, bad news is much less expensive. <laughs> George, this is going to be a great picture, but the part they've given me is wrong, completely wrong. Oh, let's see the script. Small wonder. Yeah. It's a nice title. Uh -huh. What's wrong with the part you're getting? Well, I'll tell you, George. Uh, you see, this big, handsome fella falls in love with the girl. Mm. Now, the girl is played by Barbara Hale. Pretty girl. Oh, you said it. Now she falls madly in love with him. They have a sensational courtship, and then they have a wonderful honeymoon. And you don't like that part? Oh, I love it, but that's the part they're giving Robert Cummings. <laughs> well, that's his part. Yeah, that's I his see, part. Yes. Listen, George, mm. you know Harry Cohn, the, Columbia, uh, the president of Columbia Pictures, don't you? Yeah. Would you call him on the phone well, I'll and be ask glad. him if he hello, would switch? Hello, Joe. Oh, hi, hello, Gracie. Hello, I'm just taking this coffee into Mamie before it gets cold. Okay. <laughs> Mamie! <laughs> 
Yeah. I thought you took it to the airport. I did, but we got to talking and she missed the plane. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no look, Miss Sider, right. don't get excited. She's going to take the noon train and she's leaving right away. But look. And look, just between you and me, they wouldn't have let her on the plane anyway. Why not? Well, there was a sign on the ticket counter that said, um, weight limit 40 pounds and she weighs at least 120. <laughs> Well, just so she leaves right away. George, will you help me with the bags again? Oh, oh I'll, I'll do it, Gracie. Sit down, George. Okay, Bill. George, so Mamie is finally going to leave, huh? Yeah, she's finally going. This calls for another congratulations. <laughs> help her with the bags. Okay. <laughs> Say, Bill. Yeah? You want me to call Harry Cohn and get those parts switched? I sure would appreciate it, George. Okay. You know, we're, um... We're very good friends. Oh, yes, I know you are. I'll George. tell you what, Bill. I'll do it if you do something for me. What's that? You take Mamie to the station and see that she gets on that train. It's a deal. A deal. This calls for another cigar. It certainly does. Help <laughs> yourself. Take it to the train. Oh, thanks. Oh, wonderful. Then I can go to the May Company. They have a big sale on dishes. What about my lunch? Well, I left something for you in the refrigerator. Oh, well, Bill, get those bags ready. All right. Mamie, give my best to Charlie and the children. Oh, the children. I almost forgot the presents for your three little girls. Oh, goodbye, Mamie. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, here you are. Oh, well, thank you. But what are they, Grace? Marbles, great big ones. You know, I wanted to get each one of the girls the same thing. Uh -huh. And I saw these hanging in front of a pawn shop, so I bought them. <laughs> I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Yes, them. I'm sure they will. <laughs> Goodbye, Grace. Goodbye, Mamie. And come back when you can stay longer. <laughs> Well, what do you think, Grace, she left in the refrigerator for me? This note. <laughs> Dear George, if you get hungry, they have delicious ham sandwiches at the corner drugstore. <laughs> what I pulled up, I got myself invited to lunch. Oh, there's my neighbor, Harry Martin. He's in good spirits today. Blanche, where are you? Right in here, Harry. Uh, Hello, dear. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Have I got a surprise for you? Oh, well, thanks, dear. It's just like the one you brought me yesterday. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not talking about that. I just put over a big deal. <laughs> Casey, my partner, has been working on it for two weeks. He got nowhere with it. I moved in on it this morning, closed the deal like that. Yeah, I, I know you're always on deals. Would you help me set the table? George is coming over for lunch. Honey, I just sold a big piece of property. I'm going to make a $5,000 commission on it. Really? Really. <laughs> you're looking at a salesman. Oh, Harry. Now you can get me a mink stole like Casey's wife has. How about it? George is coming to lunch, huh? Well, there's one thing about George. You always depend on him. Don't, yeah. don't change the subject. Have you got the money with you? What money? The $5,000 you just made on the deal. Oh, oh, well, look, let me explain, Blanche. You see, I haven't made any money. I put up some money on an option on some land. Now, if and when I sell it, I, uh, I may make a couple of bucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you'll sell it? You're a wonderful salesman. You just said so. Yeah, well, look, uh, Blanche, this, uh, <clears throat> this land is down on the beach. It's, uh, it's underwater a lot of the time. <laughs> this is, really, nobody would be interested in it except, uh, well, uh, 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 submarine manufacturers, uh, 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 fellows that raise oysters. Uh, very difficult to find them. I may not make any money at all. I, I may lose what I put up for the option. Gee, I hope your mother still has that spare room. We may have to move in with her. <laughs> A new make stole. <laughs> Thanks for asking me over. Hello, George. Hello, Harry. Right. The hat there. Okay. Ah, uh, you're gonna enjoy this. You just wait until you taste Blanche's cooking. Good, huh? Oh, good. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing she can do. It's cook. 
She can't sew, she can't dance, she's a lousy housekeeper, she can't play bridge. As a matter of fact, she can't even... Okay, okay, you made your point, now shut up. <laughs> Harry, tell you the good news? Yeah. Buying me a new mink stove. Wonderful. You can cook as well as he says you can, you deserve it. Yeah. Look, Blanche, we'll discuss that later. Yes, mm -hmm. dear. <laughs> Blanche, what's this? Sliced tomatoes. Sliced tomatoes for George? What's the matter with them? They're just to start the meal. Oh, no, that's not good enough. He comes here once in a blue moon and you serve him sliced tomatoes. But, Harry, I love sliced tomatoes. No, no, no. You take them away, Blanche. Take them away. I you can do them. better than that for George. No, 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 no. Get something better. Wait till you taste her cooking. Great. Look, Harry, anything she has will be fine. I haven't had a decent meal since Mamie Kelly got here. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Hey, George. I'll bet Mamie and Gracie had plenty to talk about, huh? They never stop for two weeks. Well, you know how women are. <laughs> yeah. Blanche. What's the matter? What's this? Vegetable soup. Vegetable soup for George? I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, but at least you want it hot, don't you? George? It is hot. Hot? <laughs> you call that hot? It was boiling hot when I brought it in here. Well, this is hotter. Here, you take mine, Joe. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll just skip the soup, but thanks. <laughs> I don't know what's come over her. Usually, she's a great cook. Harry, anything she's fixed will be fine. I'm hungry. Uh, you hear that, Blanche? She's starving. You're not just feeding some tramp that came in the back door. I know. I saw which door he came in. <laughs> I hope I'm not too much bother, Blanche. Corned beef hash. What's the matter with corned beef hash? I love Blanche. Hash. Just a minute, I love, I love, I love. <laughs> When your friends come, you have steaks, roasts, turkeys. My friends go... A dog wouldn't eat that. It would, too. It certainly would. <laughs> Get something better for George. Oh, well. Oh, George, you're not going to smoke a cigar now, are you? No, I'm going to eat it. I'm starving. <laughs> well, if Harry weren't so doggone finicky, you wouldn't be. Look, Blanche, forget the whole thing. I'll go down to the corner drugstore and get myself a sandwich. But thanks, just a second. Oh, you see, Harry, it's all your fault. George, you ought to be ashamed making Blanche <laughs> cry like that. I made Blanche cry? I suppose you think that her cooking isn't good enough no, for you, eh? Look here, well, if you Harry. feel that way about it, you go on down to the drugstore. I'm sorry we invited you here in the first place. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 honey. It's not worth it. Don't cry. Don't cry. Look, look. I know you can't sew. You, you can't dance. You're a lousy housekeeper. But if there's one thing you can do, it's cook. Oh, Harry. <laughs> now let's go down to the drugstore and eat. <laughs> That's a nice lunch I almost had. That's the first time that everything I didn't eat disagreed with me. But I went down to the drugstore, got myself a sandwich in the Carnation Mall. Oh, excuse me. they hung up. Who are you talking to, George? There was nobody there. Oh, well, that's silly. If you want to talk to nobody, why don't you come out in the kitchen and talk to me? <laughs> did you get your shopping done today? Yes, I did. Oh, and I've got something for you, too. Oh, you did, huh? Yeah, you know how you said you wanted some plastic seat covers? Don't tell me you got them. Well, I tried every place. I couldn't get them in plastic, but I got a nylon. Here you are. <laughs> Uh, these won't break when I sit down. No. Oh, that reminded me. I better fix some sandwiches for Mamie. Yeah. <laughs> Mamie? Is she back here again? Mm -hmm. She and Bill are in the den. 
You see, Bill got to talking down the station, and they missed the train. Now, look, Gracie, yeah, well, I don't think... worry. She's going to take the bus in a half hour. Well, this time she's going to take it. I'm taking no chances. I'll take her down to the bus myself. This has been going too far. Hello, taxi? So yeah. Would well, you send a taxi over to 312 Maple Drive right away? You see, thank you very much. The reason that carnation is so wonderful for baby feeding is that it's not only pasteurized like regular milk, but it's also sterilized, so it's absolutely safe. Oh, I can see where that would be. Oh, sure, Mamie. Now, also, carnation evaporated milk is fortified with vitamin D. That's the sunshine vitamin, and babies need that to develop strong bones and sound teeth. Oh, I know they do. Oh, sure. And another thing, Mamie, carnation is so easy for babies to digest, and I'll tell you why. It's always absolutely uniform in quality. Bill. And, Mamie, another Bill. thing about carnation... It, Bill. Oh, hello, George. Another thing about Bill. carnation... What happened at the station? Oh, well, <laughs> It was the funniest thing, George. <laughs> yeah. uh, just as I was about to get on the train, I happened to show Mr. Goodwin the pictures of my three little girls, and then he showed me his baby picture, yeah. and the first thing you know, he started talking about carnation milk, and he hasn't stopped talking since. <laughs> well, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Say, George, did you ever see my baby picture? No. <laughs> Why don't you have it enlarged? <laughs> How about that? That's a carnation baby, George. Isn't that the healthiest, happiest face you ever saw? Now, you know that carnation must be great for babies because eight out of ten mothers who use it say their doctor recommended it. And don't forget this. Carnation is accepted by the Council on Foods and Nutrition of the American Medical Association. <laughs> oh, there's your taxi. Come on, Mamie, I'll take you down and put you on the bus myself. Gracie, Mamie is leaving. All right. Here, Mamie, some sandwiches oh, for you. Say goodbye, Mamie. Oh, goodbye, Mamie. Goodbye, Mamie. Oh, goodbye, Mamie. Oh, goodbye, Mamie. Oh, I'm going to miss Mamie. Huh? You know, we went through school together. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, gee, I bet you had a lot of fun, Gracie. Oh, we certainly did. She sat right in back of me, and there was a redhead boy sat in front of me. And, uh -huh. oh, I'll never forget how Mamie used to laugh when I dipped his pigtails into the inkwell. She's got a wonderful Gracie, sense Gra of humor. Gracie, Gracie, just, just a minute. Did I hear you right? Did you say that the boy who sat in front of you had pigtails? Mm-hmm. His father was a butcher, and he used to bring them to school. <laughs> Yeah. I'll see you, Grace. Yeah, goodbye. Well, Mamie is gone. I put her on the bus myself. Don't misunderstand me. She's a wonderful woman. But I wouldn't want Ava Gardner in my house for two weeks. <laughs> Four weeks would be nice. <laughs> well, after all this chatter, it'll be nice to have a quiet house again. I think I'll go back and relax for a little while. Harry, oh. Harry, if you want me, I'll be over at Gracie. Oh. Yoo-hoo, Gracie! Oh, yes, Blanche. I Blanche. think Mamie finally got oh. away. Yes, oh. she did. Oh. 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 I know you were in the same house. Will you? Well, uh, Blanche, I, I hear Harry calling you. She's coming, Harry. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, excuse just me, you. huh? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll see you later, yeah. Blanche. Look, Gracie, I'd like to relax for a little while. Yeah, well, go ahead, dear. Okay. Oh. You should have been with me at the airport this morning. You meet such interesting people. Like this woman I was talking to. She said she had to get a ticket validated for Peoria. So I said, well, if your ticket's got Peoria, you ought to get yourself validated so you won't catch it. <laughs> That's a good thing you said that. There's a lot of Peoria around. Especially in Illinois. Yeah. And then I, I was talking to this man, and uh, he asked me how to find gate six. He said, my wife and I are flying to Chicago United. So I said, oh, I'm so glad you got back together. I'm glad they made up, too. Yeah. Oh, and then there was this dear little old woman. You got to talking but, to her, too. Well, uh, you have a way of getting to talk to people. 
Well, I don't know. When somebody comes up to you and they say, who are you, where you going, you almost have to talk to them. I guess so. But of course, I only say that to nice looking people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh and this little old woman I was talking about. Well, she was a dear little old soul. And uh, she said, can I take a puppy to Seattle? And I said, well, sure, but you get there quicker on a plane. <laughs> Gracie, I'd like to relax a little bit, do you mind? <laughs> Where's Mamie? The kids and I just couldn't stand it without her. I just put her on a bus. She left for San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, oh, children, oh. don't cry. I'll send a wire to your mother and she'll come right back. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, your children are so cute. What's your name? Melinda. And what's yours? Sherry. And what's yours? Jerry. Oh, I'll say, sweet. Now, do anything you want, children. Just have fun. Do anything. <laughs> now, listen. When your mother comes, why, she can take my bedroom and then George can see that. Children, children, uh, play with Uncle George. George and Grace will be back in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Meantime, let me tell you something about what I had for dinner last night that's really pretty special. I was visiting some friends, and the main course was creamed tuna. Now, uh, I've eaten creamed tuna lots of times, but as I say, this was honestly the best I've ever tasted. What's more, the recipe for it is so quick and easy that it's just no work at all. Now, it calls for carnation evaporated milk. And the place to get this recipe is at your grocery store. Look for this card. You'll probably find it in the section where your grocer regularly keeps carnation. And there's the recipe in the pocket right there. Many stores have special displays of carnation where you'll see this sign. Look for it and just help yourself to a quicker, easier recipe for the most delicious creamed tuna that your family ever tasted. The main thing is that creamed tuna made with carnation just tastes a lot better. It's smoother, richer, and creamier. So I'd suggest tomorrow is a good time to get carnation, the milk from contented cows. And be sure to pick up the new cream tuna recipe, won't you? It's so quick and so easy. Pick it up at your grocer's. And now let's pick up carnation's own contented couple, George and Gracie. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gracie and I will be back again two weeks from tonight. And incidentally, we're going to be on all summer. Every other week. <laughs> See, George, aren't Mamie's three little children cute? They're darling. But uh, where are they going to sleep? Oh, don't worry about it. Let Mamie figure that out when she gets here with her mother. <laughs> Good night. Good night. show, Sarah Selby appeared as Mamie Kelly and Steve Chase was Charlie Kelly. The three little Kellys were Sherry Robinson, Melinda Plowman, and Jerry James. The George Burns and Gracie Allen show will be back again in two weeks and will continue on throughout the summer every other week. This is Bill Goodwin saying good night for Carnation. Uh -huh.